plans. Call today. All day long we've been telling you about the parades, the festivities right here in Northeast Ohio to celebrate Labor Day. And only on the Now Cleveland, our Lauren Wilson headed to the parade in Akron and spoke with two women who've reconnected and are marching with purpose. In the midst of all the parading and Labor Day celebrating, there's Carmen Harris and her partner in crime, Stephanie Singleton. She's just an awesome, awesome, awesome sponsor. I'm always inspired by Carmen and more so inspired by her today and her presence being here in the parade. Although you would never know it when you're around the tight-knit duo, the two have actually just been reunited after losing touch for more than 25 years. Carmen and I, we actually graduated from Central Howard High School and that's pretty much how our friendship actually started, but then it departed after graduation. It all started when Carmen was diagnosed with stage 4 liver and colon cancer last fall. It's definitely a terminal illness, but I'm in to fight. Documenting her journey on Facebook, it caught Stephanie's eye, and she knew she just had to do something. It was a shock. It was really a shock. The part that really connected me to her because I am a hairstylist and that's where my passion is that the hair that I've known Carmen to have is no longer there. I had launched my own product line. It switched from being profits to proceeds. Calling the campaign Carmen's Angels she'll be giving 10% of profits to Carmen's medical expenses and if that wasn't enough she traveled all the way from California today to march in the East Akron Parade with her friend. This was her community, this is her home, and this is where I needed to be. Walking, not riding through the parade, Carmen tells me her rekindled friendship and support from Stephanie is one of the things that keeps her going. It's just awesome, it's just awesome. Just humble, right? God put us together, I believe, because we have the same spirit. Now, Carmen is set to have her third surgery at the end of the month. She tells me she hopes this will be the final procedure she'll have to have in order to be cancer-free. In Akron, for the now, I'm Lauren Wilson. Thanks, Lauren. Now, the number of people...